Just arrived here at Echo Lake in the Desolation Wilderness. Today is going to be a gear shakeout day. I've got my backpack and I've got the pack raft. So it's going to be a combination backpacking and pack rafting adventure. I've got a really big trip coming up, a big solo trip in about three weeks. And I want to get this uh, combination, make sure I got all my gear kind of sorted out and, uh, you know, how to attach the pack raft, blowing it up, setting it up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, before a trip coming up here soon. So I want to make sure I got all that figured out and be using the same setup then. So this is just a little quick overnighter uh, for some gear testing. Loaded up and on trail. I was originally going to paddle up Echo Lake uh, to get the upper Echo, but <laughs> there is a like directly down path current about 10, 12 mile an hour wind. So instead of battling that the entire two miles up, I said, I'll just hump it up there. It'll be a good test of the pack, the frame, and, uh, and the engine here to see if I can get up to the top and how quick that, how quick that goes. So far, a quarter mile in, it's riding really, really nice. So I'm gonna keep pumping it all the way up. And my goal is to get to Echo Lake, and that'll be one of the main lakes that I do today. But there's little tiny white caps out here. It's just silly with the, the pack raft is not deal with direct wind very well. So it's just gonna be a lot easier to just hump it up there. Made to Upper Echo Lake, there is a dock down here. You can actually take a water taxi and take it all the way up here. It only takes like about an hour to hike this far, so it's not that bad. But I've done the taxi before, it is a cool ride. I'm gonna go down here, there's a dock, just get set up, blow up the raft, do a circle around uh, Upper Echo Lake, see if there's any fish, and then get packed up and keep heading up the trail. Gotta go about another two and a half or three miles that way to get up to uh, Aloha, which is one of the main lakes I wanna to try to fish today.
about noon. It's time for lunch. I'm really, really hungry. Got the, took the pack raft out here to an island in the middle of Aloha Lake. Got Pyramid Peak uh, here in the background. Pretty cool. Uh, gorgeous day, a little bit of wind, 100% sun. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I've never really fished this lake before, uh, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Try to go out kind of into the middle, a little bit deeper. There's a little bit of wind, so I made sure to secure the pack raft. I uh, tied it off to a tree and put a rock on it. Uh, there was a very, very fond memory <laughs> I have with Joe where we were um, canoeing and it came to a lunch spot similar to this, exposed, nice, rocky area. And uh, the wind uh, took the canoe and, and, and took it from us. So got the rock weighing it down, got the, uh, the string tied to the, the tree because I don't want to get stranded on this island. The water is quite cold. It would not be a ton of fun to try to swim on an island. Found a nice little spot to show at. Nice one little tree to give me some shade. Lunch today we got some teriyaki beef jerky. We've got this. You know, it's kind of a nice spicy. It's got some wasabi. Um, uh, peas, got some crunchy things, I don't know, it's a good trail mix, I like it, and an apple, along with some chocolate to finish it out. And then it's going to be fishing time, I'm starving right now, it's a good like five mile hike, four and a half, four and a half, five mile hike up here, a little bit of paddling, that burns some calories, time for food. Got a really nice looking brookie right here. Come on, bud. Hey, guys. Been playing around with the best way to secure the, uh, the pack to the raft. Right now, I've got two about seven foot pieces of cord, and I've got a press it here so I can pull tighten it down here. And then I just use a quick release knot here and here, form an X, and then to get it undone, I just pull it and I can tighten it from here. Even if I'm sitting in the boat, I can still tighten it. I like this system uh, with the pack right here. I can strap my GoPro under these bungees. Still put my water bottle here, uh, pocket here, and pocket here so I can kind of keep small stuff stored uh, and ha still have access to stuff. And anything I don't need is strapped down and secured over there. Middle of the day, just about three o'clock. I uh, haven't had anything since that brookie. I had one solid hit, uh, but that's it. It's there's, it's dead calm right now, but right over there is just crazy white caps. I'm kind of in this little protected bay. A uh, couple observations or things I've noticed is one, when it's really windy, it's a pain in the butt to tie knots. I should know that, but this is like five pound braid, maybe seven. 
and it just blows all over the place. It's very challenging to tie knots. So I think snap swivels, uh, even if it's not quite as good, might be a necessary thing when using this boat out in lakes like this. So that's that's first lesson, one lesson there. Um, what's the other thing I was going to say? Another mental note I made, was going to make. So the other thing to mention too is I've noticed with a really light uh, lure, I've got some like eight ounce, real tiny trout lures. I've tried putting them on and one, they're terrible to try to cast in. And then B, they also, uh, they blow around the wind, they wrap your line all over the place. So uh, I know it doesn't seem windy right now, but there's some like legit gusts that come up. It makes it very challenging to uh, try and stay on course and do any amount of fishing. So I'm going to keep fishing for another hour or so in Aloha and then start the off trail uh, traverse to my uh, camping zone. I'm going to Ropey Lake? Loopy Lake? I think it's Ropey. Ropey Lake is where tonight is. I'm going to go out and see how bad the wind is here uh, out of cover because I'm in this nice little covered zone right here, but we'll go see how bad this is and how the back craft takes it. Pulled over to try a little bit of shore fishing. Uh, it keeps uh, getting super windy and then, then it's nice and super windy again. But I see a couple of deep pools here, so I'm gonna to try to cast into there, see if I can get anything. Got another super nice brookie. This guy is a good size. You can see him compared to my hand. Good size, really nice brookie. Let me get him out. Oh, he just spit it. Making my way down to Ropey. I gotta kind of go down this little uh, canyon thing and down climb a little bit. Doesn't look technical really, but I do have this pack on, so I just gotta take it real careful. I gotta drop about 400 feet elevation, then I'll be down to my uh, my uh, lake for tonight, Ropey, and I think Tomi Lake tonight. Coming down now, I didn't get to film much. There's this uh, canyon thing, terrible scrambling, lots of bushes, no amount of fun. There's a cool waterfall over there. Almost down to flat, nice, easy area again. And then uh, I've had enough rock scrambling for today. Finally made it here to Ropey Lake. Pretty awesome uh, lake. There's a little inlet right here and it looks like it gets deep pretty quick. So I'm really hoping there's some fish right there. This is a good sized lake. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, and the wind is not too bad. I'm kind of down in this little valley. Found a nice little protected spot for my, my um, my tent, I'm using a mid tonight. I'm gonna to use the uh, Duo Mid XL. It's uh, my DCF shelter. Uh, you've seen me use it before. I actually got it after I did a trip here. You go like two, three years back in my videos when I went to the top of Pyramid Peak, I used a tarp and it was really windy. It was terrible and I was like, ah, oh, I gotta get something light, lighter and better. And uh, so I used the Duo Mid XL. I really like that. So I'm gonna use that tonight. Set up, uh, dry my feet off a little bit. They've been soaking wet pretty much all day. Is either getting in and out of the boat or the um, uh, snow fields. A lot, a, lot, a lot of wet feet. Drying pretty quick though. It's dry and windy and warm, but I uh, still just want to dry those out real good. Get the shelter set up and then we'll go try to go do some fishing. During the day, I had my little clippy thing. I clipped to the top of my pack. But for tonight, I'm going to try something different. Took my tie down lines, looped them around here, pulled it taut, put the tripod there, and then it's pretty solid. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that works. Still trying to experiment. Once the pack comes off, how to secure the camera. Since it's a little close, I'm gonna switch it to wide. I got it on wide angle now. Oh yeah, this works. The front of the boat is bouncing, so is the camera. Yeah, it'll work just great.
getting ready for dinner. Sorry for the wind. Uh, it seems to keep coming in gusts. Um, I got the uh, got the duo mid all set up. It's looking pretty good. I like my spot. I got one edge, uh, the edge towards the wind. I'm going to kind of get it nice and low to the ground. Try to make it so that I'm not uh, in a wind tunnel inside. I'm trying out a new brand of food. It's called Pinnacle Foods. There. Um, this one is the Chipotle Beef Burrito Bowl. Kelsey bought a bunch of these. I'm assuming she saw some Instagram posts and people recommended it. Uh, Pinnacle Foods, Missoula, Montana. One container, 540 calories. A whole bunch of wind. Um, yeah, I'll give this one a shot. I'll warm up some water. Got dinner warming up. Hopefully you guys can hear me and it's not too terribly windy. Um, it goes completely nice and then got gusty, so is what it is. Uh, I had a great time today. Today has been awesome. A uh, ton of fun. Had a good hike in. I think I've put in like seven or eight miles. Uh, so good hike. Uh, quite a bit of, of pack rafting. I don't know. I haven't checked all my, my stats. I was logging my stats just to see, um, just see how far I went and how fast and all that kind of stuff. The um, the little off trail traverse between Aloha and here was um, a little spicy. That that uh, down climb was a little bit fun. So I, I always like a good scramble. That was fun. Uh, super 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 happy that I caught the uh, the two brook trout. They were I think probably the two largest brook trout I've caught. Uh, in California, I mean, they were they were good size. I, I was quite quite happy. Um, so now I know there's some good brookies in Aloha. From what I can tell, there's nothing here in Loopy or Lopi Lake or wherever I'm at. I can't remember the name of the lake, but I can't uh, seem to get anything. It's quite windy. I, I, I usually don't have um, really good luck when it's this windy, I, and I don't know the lake, so. Anyways, I'll try again in the morning. It's supposed to maybe potentially rain, so we'll see how bad uh, of a rain it is in the morning, but uh, I'll give it a shot. So gear-wise, everything worked out really good. I'm quite happy uh, with everything I brought. Um, I'm doing a bigger trip uh, in like three weeks from now. Um, similar setup, Alpine lakes, uh, kind of hiking between them, uh, bringing the boat and do some fishing. So uh, it should be fun. I really want to test the gear out for an overnighter before I did um, did a much longer trip just to make sure I, I don't know, put stuff in the right pockets, had things organized. Um, but I, I think I got it pretty much the way I, I, I want to have it now, um, which is good. The one thing I do want to change is I absolutely love the pack, uh, Superior Wilderness Designs, Long Haul Rugged 50. Uh, great pack, awesome, awesome pack. Even loaded up today with the pack raft, bear can, uh, all my hiking stuff. It, surprisingly what rode really well the only thing I'm gonna do different is um, right now on the top I have a Y strap so coming from like the back uh, over the top where I put the pack raft so I can get it on and off um, I have it a, a, on a Y strap and it tends to kind of want to shift now the cool thing about this pack is it has all these lashing points there's probably like I don't know 24 of them or something like that there's there's points all over the place where you can strap bungee tie things to and they're just little tiny tabs, um, but you got you can put some straps through them and stuff like that. And I, I think it's unbelievably helpful when carrying uh, gear like a pack raft. So what I'm going to do different is I'm going to do like an H style. So instead of just a Y strap on the top, I'm going to do two straps. And I think that way it'll help it uh, from kind of wanting to go like this. Because one or once or twice, um, it is a sill nylon sack. So unless you like wrench the heck out of it, and even if you do, it still kind of wants to slide around a little bit. I put a tab on the stuff sack so I can run the, the cords through. That way it can never truly fall off. But once once or twice a day, especially going off trail where I'm kind of like leaning down like this and stuff moving around, um, it did shift over some. Uh, and then you're kind of off balance, which is not, not much fun uh, when you're off trail. So that's one thing I definitely want to fix. H strap on top, two, two kind of like a capital H. Um, and then... Uh, the Y strap is, is fine for normal stuff, but I want to change that up. Other than that, everything's great. Um, might pick up a few different fishing lures. Um, I think some heavier ones, honestly. What I, I learned today is the wind is just, it's tough to cast in, in any amount of wind with little, little tiny trout, trout lures. Um, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna carry more larger ones than what I typically bring. Cause typically I bring like one large one. Maybe I brought two this time, I lost one. And then I've been using the second one the whole time. And the rest are these 
very, very tiny little like eighth ounce ones and you try to throw them in the wind and they'll go like three feet and then flutter and fall on the ground. And they cast fine when it's not uh, windy, but you get these like 20 mile an hour gust, gusts in your face and uh, just just doesn't work. So another, uh, another lesson learned. Let's, uh, let's see if this food's ready. Here we go, we're gonna do the Pinnacle Foods beef, Chipotle beef burrito bowl. Let's test this out. That's good. It's like everything's very fine. The the, um, the rice, the cilantro, the beef. It's all. It's not like chunky at all. It's very fine. That's good. That was quite good. Um, bonus here. The thing fits in my repack, so it keeps it nice and warm. I can hold it easily. And always make sure you have one of these, the super long titanium or uh, spoons. I think this one's from Tokes. If you had a normal one, you could definitely not get your hands. If you had a short one, you have to stick your whole hand in there, which my hand is kind of gross. So. As soon as I eat this, I'm going to go hide the bear can over there and then uh, go to bed because it is um, it's getting chilly. Hmm. This is legit. I'm really excited. I have one of their breakfasts too. So we'll do this one in the morning. Breakfast sausage and egg scramble. So I'm looking forward to that. Ooh, quite good. If you watched my video from last weekend uh, where Luna and I went to the Trinity Alps, you'll notice that I had a rant about Sawyer squeeze. This is the main Sawyer. Is it still called the squeeze? Anyways, I had a rant about this. It was flowing unbelievably bad. Um, I went home, broke this guy out. I used this five, six times, and then I screwed it into a bottle and I tested it again and it took me about 50 seconds to a minute to fill up a liter. So I don't know what it was. It must have been really big and clogged. I think this weighs basically nothing. So I'm just gonna carry it from now on just, just in case, because having water or not having a water filter that works is really annoying. Uh, I mean, this thing's pretty, I guess, robust and works well. You just gotta bring this thing. I used to carry it and I stopped carrying it. I was like, oh, I'm saving weight, but it doesn't weigh anything and it makes things work better. So I'm gonna do that. A couple people also in the comments left that you can soak it. One guy said, put it in vinegar. So I'll try that. Uh, I'm gonna try the soak thing and then see how it works for a trip. And then I'll try the vinegar thing and see how that works for a trip. So I'll just uh, keep working with it. But anyways, we're working much better. Bring the syringe every time. I'm in the duo mid now. It's about 8.30 and the sun's starting to go down. Just uh, cleaning up my feet. They've been wet pretty much the entire day, so I want to get them dried out real good. I'm going to put some lotion on them uh, and then chill back, sit back, and listen to an audiobook for a little while before going to bed early. I do need to get up and on the road uh, kind of as soon as possible because uh, there are 15 mile an hour winds with 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts. Uh, coming by 9 o'clock in the morning, I think, is what my weather app said. So I'm going to try to get up around 5 or so, 5.30 maybe, uh, and then get on the um, the lake. If I get an opportunity to do some fishing, that'd be great. If not, no big deal. I'm going to pack up and start heading home. Good morning, just woke up. Uh, did not sleep the best last night. It was uh, pretty much windy the entire night and uh, full moon too. So lots of light, lots of wind, didn't sleep the best, but that's okay. 
about 5.30 right now. I am uh, making up my breakfast, scrambled eggs and sausage. Gonna wait another about five minutes for that to warm up, scarf that down, and then get out of here. Because uh, it looks like the wind is only going to intensify throughout the day. Um, so I'm gonna definitely paddle this lake. And I'll take a look at the next lake. If it looks like uh, it's more sheltered, which I think it might be, uh, I'll take a, take a shot at maybe trying to do some fishing, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, here we are inside the tent. Try breakfast out. Maybe I should have put more water in this. It looks rehydrated, but looks like I could have taken some more water too. Let's give it a shot. Pretty good. A little spice to it. The potatoes are not 100% rehydrated, so I gotta put a little bit more water in than what I think. My only negative with this brand so far, one thing I really, really like about Alpen Air is it says on the side of the Alpen Air packages, there's numbers, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can pour, and it'll say like fill to line four. So you look and you pour. It'd be awesome if there's a clear window you could actually see. But that's the only issue with some of these uh, freeze dried meals is they say like one and a half cups, three quarters of a cup. And I have some markings on my pot, like I scratched in there. But they're not the best, and I'm not going to bring an extra little cup to figure out exactly how much to put in. So, whoever can figure that out in the freeze-dried industry, that'd be great. If you could figure out an easier way of making that work. I think a little clear window, if it's filled to here, that'd be super helpful. Here we go. Once again, all packed up. On the way out of here, the sky is um, ominous is the only word for it. But here we go. Got to paddle hard. if you can hear me but uh, it is decided to rain and the wind uh, hasn't changed at all so I'm just uh, you know enjoying my day here in the mountains made it back to the car the last uh, three or four miles there was uh, pretty fun uh, extremely windy big big gusts uh, and then rain I was like half tempted looking at Aloha that I should have just deployed the pack raft and gone but at the same time there was these like I tried to get it on video. There was like these, I don't know, rain tornadoes, essentially. It, it, it was, it was pretty intense. I probably would have like, that would not have been fun to be in that boat. I don't know. Half of me says it was half of it, me says it would be really stupid to go out in the boat right now. But anyways, had a great time. Uh, those brookies I caught were awesome. Uh, really, really cool uh, night last night and uh, really enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed everything. Uh, the pack, the pack worked out great. The, um, Superior Wilderness Designs Long Haul Rugged 50. And, uh, you know, it's been raining now for three hours on it. Opened it up, completely bone dry inside. Um, it's not seam taped, but it's extremely water resistant, I would say. Real rugged. Um, I scraped it on more than a few rocks yesterday going down the chute, and I didn't see any immediate damage. So, great pack. Uh, really liking it so far. I'll do a review at the end of the year. But, uh, yeah. Good uh, shakedown of gear. I feel ready now for my big trip here in three weeks where I'll be doing a lot more of this uh, alpine pack raft fishing type of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.